It's that time of the year, holiday outfits. I got you covered with some cute, thrifted holiday outfits for La Posada. If you're like me who gets ready just to go over to your tia's house to sit on a couch, then this is for you. Keep in mind that I live in Southern California, so please cater these outfits based on your region. So I wanted to start with this black dress. I recently thrifted it from Savers and I thought it was so chic because of the velvet texture. You can never go wrong with a black dress and with the right accessories you can definitely make in your own. I put some high knee boots that I thrifted years ago. You can definitely wear this with some tights but your girl ripped her tights as soon as I tried it for another outfit so yeah. This outfit to me screams I'm at my company's holiday party or going to a holiday event for kids. I know, showing some leg, but the length of the dress isn't short and the sweater is a great cover up and I thought it would keep you warm. I think some tights would go well with this too. I added this velvet black heel because these shoes scream festive. It's definitely the pair of heels that I wear during this holiday season. So I got these tights because I wanted to match my top. As you can see, as soon as I put them up, they ripped. Anyways, black is always a go-to for me when going out. This is my I'm cool because I was six when The Matrix came out and I've always wanted to be like Neo. So it's kind of crazy that we're 20 years later since that movie came out or 21 years later almost. So yeah, so happy they're making number four and it's not related to this outfit, but the whole leather on leather. I just think of the matrix so yeah hey Karina not all of us like black and don't like to show much skin all right this one is for you this is a neutral and semi conservative outfit I think a great pair of trousers with a nice top or sweater is perfect for a work related event or meeting the fam I paired this outfit with a tan closed toe mule and some fun silver tree earrings to bring this festive look together. I would also wear the top backwards for a more cover up in the front and a little bit exposed in the back. Definitely an outfit to boogie as you can tell. This is for those people who ain't scared to show some skin. Just shifted this lingerie top from Savers and I love the velvet texture in the middle with the exposed mesh everywhere else. If it is too much to wear a top like this for yourself, I would definitely lay it on top of a turtleneck. I also like the juxtaposition of a sexy bustier top with a turtleneck underneath. I paired these skinny black pair of jeans that I only wear for my going out outfits. It's just an amazing fit, again with the festive gray heels, this is probably going to be my New Year's outfit. For those who want to look like Mrs. Claus, <laughs> I wasn't intentionally going for that, but the dress fits me kind of big, so I belted it with a belt to show more of my waist, and that's when I realized I looked like Miss Claus. I think I'm going to head to the mall to make a quick buck in this one. Anyways, I also recently thrifted this red nightgown dress, and I immediately thought the holidays. A simple white turtleneck to keep you covered, which I should have opted for a black one to be more match. My favorite knee-high boots, a red lip, jingle bell earrings, and you're good to go. Maybe you don't like to dress in festive colors? Well, I thought a band tee with a leather skirt is a cool option. I was also trying to find an excuse to wear my new platform boots, and I thought this outfit was it. I would definitely wear some tights, but of course a minor rip. To break up the black, I went for a cheetah belt to add a fun element to the outfit. As you can see, I live in black. It's usually the color I choose when I go out. That's why you keep seeing that color. And then to add a little bit more color, I went with this green duster. I thought I paired nicely with the colors of my top. This outfit is more of a work-related inspo. Obviously, depends where you work. My thought for this one was I work as a copywriter and we're just having a casual dinner at a semi hister spot in Los Angeles. I went for this sparkly tube top and one of my favorite pair of jeans out of this blazer to look semi-professional. I've been wanting to style some strappy heels and I just love how they look with this outfit. I went for a casual red lip, breads, and silver thing earrings. This is the I want to be your sexy waiter slash catering at your wedding person. I've been wanting to wear this pillowy shirt under a dress for some time. I thought this video was the perfect excuse. My go-to LBD is this strapless one that I thrifted years ago. 
something about showing your thigh is sexy so i went for my knee-high boots but obviously go for some tights if that's too revealing i went with the staple red lip jingle bell earrings hair in a ponytail and it looked so bad that i had to cover with the headband Last outfit is the most casual. I know, I'm sometimes extra with my outfits, but I swear I'm an introvert. I'm back with the Miss Claus colors. It's literally the same outfit as number six. However, I opted with black jeans, tucked in the dress, added some slides, and added a headband. This is another outfit that I think is perfect for work-related event with the holiday spirit. I think this is probably the outfit I'm going to be wearing on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next Thursday with a new one. Bye!